We often describe our projects as being creatures, and in this case a creature in the wild, in the forest, on the side of a hill. My name is Omar Gandhi. I'm principal of Omar Gandhi Architects based out of Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada and Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And right now I'm sitting in the living room of our new project, White Rock. White Rock is located up a winding road, halfway up a steep hill in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia the agricultural center of the province. The project really was the dream of my childhood friend and I, Jared Martin. The idea for this cabin is that it would be a place for our best friends, our family, the people we grew up with, as well as our own staff and team members. A meditative retreat that we could send people, a place to get away, a place to concentrate, a place to relax and even take naps. The procession through the cabin is quite modest. As you approach the house and walk along a dry stack stone wall, you step up a few stairs and enter what really seems like a very modest steel bunker. On the second floor, you have two bedrooms and a bathroom that overlooks and looks up to the hillside. The first bedroom looks out to the west. You really are seeing the forest, both on the low side and the high side of the property. The second bedroom, which looks out to the east, looks right into a dense forest and feels very private. Between the two bedrooms is the laundry space, behind two closed doors. After a second flight of stairs, you reach the living room space, really the social hub of the cabin itself, which includes the kitchen, the living room and the dining space, as well as a pantry. After a third flight of stairs, you get to the rooftop, which really gives you an amazing view of the Gaspro Valley. The exterior of the cabin is quite spare, entirely clad in Corten steel from top to bottom, including the columns, the primary volume, as well as all the bump outs, including the entry and the large visor, which juts out of the living room itself. We were really interested in the dichotomy between traditional and modern. There are elements that are highly textured and really speak to the tradition of craft, which is in juxtaposition to the kitchen, which is all stainless steel and really razor sharp. There's a real fine sort of contradiction between those two elements. Next to that, we have the dining area on a very beautiful smoked oak micro herringbone floor. In the living room, there's an antique piece, an Arne Norel 1960s original armchair, and many of the elements which my dear friend Jonah Sampson helped me with through the design process. Around the perimeter of the living room is a raw steel bench. So those two elements of the stainless steel in the kitchen and the raw steel, all the rich textures of the space, including the ceiling, which is composed of a waffle grid that really absorbs a lot of sound, is really delightful. The design intention for the kitchen was that it was going to be the most modern piece in the entire cabin, entirely clad in a very sleek stainless steel it was important that the appliances really fell back, really receded into the background. And I think what was really wonderful about working with the team at Fisher & Paykel was that they knew that from the outset. They knew what the desired result was gonna be, and there were plenty of options that allowed us to achieve that effect. Further to the idea of this hyper-minimalist kitchen, we tucked away the tall elements in the pantry but we kept all the low elements on the long kitchen bench. For example, the integrated dish drawer with two drawers, one on top and one on the bottom that allows for separate zones for dishwashing. It also allowed us, by cladding it with stainless steel, for it to be something that, like the fridge and the wine column, vanishes into the background and is quite camouflaged and doesn't compete with the bench itself. 
the kitchen layout really allows for a certain level of flow and ease of use and I think most important to me, really fun to use. It was wonderful working with the team at Fisher & Paykel, from their global resource team to the local team in Toronto, working through the various stages to the final result, which I think everyone is quite proud of. The truth about this project is it's actually the third iteration of a project we've had in the studio. And in this scenario, where the client was actually myself and my friends, we evolved the design to really meet our requirements and the site itself, which was all about a view out to the Gaspro Valley, but flanking views that give you a lot of privacy. My favorite part of the project is sitting on the rooftop and feeling completely engulfed by the landscape. 